And now we move into the section on formative feedback with a suggestion that having the classroom assessment techniques matrix at hand available, available through this short URL will be helpful. As we think about formative feedback, let's begin with formative. Formative is that opportunity for students to practice the learning along the way. So we want to engage learners in the work from the start, perhaps in their preparing for classwork, the homework, having them complete a particular task and bring that to class, being ready to engage in activity, a conversation with peers, a presentation or lecture. Formative also involves creating pauses within a teaching context. So within a lecture, making room for a pause where students apply what they have just learned, perhaps based on the homework that they have just completed, to a particular problem, perhaps talking to a peer, perhaps doing a concept test, perhaps doing a bit of writing in their own notes to synthesize and summarize the understanding that's emerging. Formative is that chance to perform learning, to do it in the mediating, the liminal stage where things are beginning to come together so that students gain some practice ideally before us or in an online forum that we'll look at or in some group work that we will later take into consideration as we move forward. Formative is also that chance to generate reflection. The space between gathering data and being tested on it is a space of creating new understanding. So to reflect on why something worked, um, what was difficult and how they might get around that difficulty in the next practice at a particular idea. The feedback elements involve us, students, and their peers, and it's often just in time. So if we've engaged the learners with homework that has an orienting task, and then we do a class activity and or lecture presentation, perhaps the just in time would be to apply that homework during the lecture. Perhaps that just in time would be to take further notes based on the idea of the lecture to link it to the homework. Perhaps the just in time would be to end that class session with a line underneath the homework that they brought in and two sentences addressing where they have gotten to in their understanding and how they would answer a problem that you pose or how they would prepare for the next assignment, the forward-looking part. Feedback targets to improvement. So how could I do better the next time on this test? What were my study skills and strategies? Which ones did I avoid? Did the teacher offer some strategies that I did or did not follow up on? As a teacher, it's a chance to say, here's the high expectation I had for you. Here's how I see that you meet it. Here's how I see that you could improve. And that you might be an individual student, a group of students, or the whole class. And that makes it targeted as we think about who's providing the, uh, the feedback and who that feedback goes to. Let's consider some examples again. Practice quizzes with multiple tries and the answers offered. It's a great way to use an online resource within Canvas to help students do some spaced learning and to rethink answers. You could also, as a formative means of feedback, ask students to create a diagram, a figure, or a table instead of writing. How do they conceptually organize the material through a map or a diagram can help learners make connections between materials they've studied. You might ask them to record a talk or a response or a presentation using tools that are available through the University of Minnesota. That short talk will give students a chance to express ideas in a logical order, to freely brainstorm, or to present to an external audience through a medium that you can all address. Follow-up discussion posts with reflection in an online forum can be quite helpful. So don't just have people line up and post. Ask students to respond to the first five people who post in that thread, and those posts I'll end with a question that foster further reflection and responses from the students who engage. Gives you a chance to talk about how they're following up and add to the follow-up feedback. You might ask students to apply things after they've done the preparatory work. CATS can be another way to do that, so have students do an application card, a matrix, a focus list, a directed paraphrase. And in this, you can or incorporate peer and process components, giving students a chance to talk to each other as they move through the assignment. 
as you're thinking about examples, you want students to do formative feedback so they gain skills through practice in order to meet the target aim. There are technology tools that can help you with this. In Canvas, those would be the discussion forum, the assignment comments that you can make in response to student work and that they can add to as they respond to you. VoiceThread can be a useful tool for adding comments. There are graded and ungraded quiz options. Google surveys and forms can be quite helpful here, as can Kaltura. Externally, we have Flipgrid, WebEx, hosts of applications, and a chance to teach students how to annotate PDFs so they take better notes as they're reading for class and preparing to engage. So how might you use formative strategies? Pause here, take some ideas into account that we've shared, take a look at what you've done so far, and then you can move on to assessment video number three.